everybody, I'm Debbie Allison and this is Crazy Felix and you're watching Paula McClay by Deck. Hi everybody, I'm Debbie Allison with Deb and & Company and Polymer Clay by Deb. And I'm here again today with Crazy Felix. Say hi, Crazy Felix. <laughs> and um, in today's tutorial, we are going to be finishing up something that we started in um, a previous tutorial, which uh, we were working on making the outfit that's on this 50s boy. And what we did before was I showed you how to make the jeans and the t-shirt. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the jacket. And um, all you'll be needing for this is just uh, some black clay. I've got it rolled out to two different settings, a six for the trim in the sleeves, a five for the main portion of the jacket, um, uh, just a little bit of silver for the buttons, and as far as tools, you'll just need an X-Acto knife, a needle tool, a double-ended stylus, and a straight edge. And basically, that's it. So now that you know what we need, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we start with the basic part of this jacket. And um, I'm going to take this piece of clay, and if you've watched some of my other tutorials, um, there's just it's just like a trial and error as far as figuring out what size it should be. I always cut it in a curve because when you wrap it around the body, it's somewhat curved. So you want to cut the piece large enough so that you can roll down the collar and have a collar on it. Um, so I just cut a basic shape to start with. And that's usually my shape for um, jacket, shirt, anything that you're doing of that nature. And I'm going to turn this down and just take a look and see if it's about the right size. Yep, it's about the right size. So because it's a leather jacket, we're going to take a couple of pleats in the back and you just grab a piece of the clay and pull it together. And this makes your pleats in the back that a jacket would have. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to figure out where I need to cut it as far as going around his body. So you just kind of put it around there and then just maybe notch it where you want to cut it. So I'm going to notch it there and we'll cut that much off of it. And same thing over here, probably about there. And so we'll cut that much off of it on this side. And that looks about right. I think I'll cut a little more off because I want it to uh, stand open and show his t-shirt. Alright. Now, we're going to put some trim on the jacket. And we're going to take the piece that we did that was rolled out on a 6 and just cut a strip. Actually, we'll be cutting uh, a couple of strips. And this is going to be the trim that goes around the jacket. That would be, if it was a real jacket, would actually be the piece uh, that's elasticized. Like in the sleeves and around the, the edge of the jacket. So we'll cut a piece, a couple pieces and we just put this on the bottom of the jacket. And then we'll put some going up. Trim off the excess. I have to cut another piece here. Alright, so now that we've got our trim on here, we want to add some details to it. To make it look like elastic, we'll take our needle tool and just push down with your needle tool all around the edges. And this will give it the appearance of elastic, like it's gathered. So you just go all the way around the whole jacket. This also helps to push it on, so it doesn't come off. Now you could use the same technique and just change the color. And 
give it a whole different appearance. You could make, make it look like a wool jacket. All right, now we'll pick it up and we're ready to put it on. We'll turn down the top for his collar and then put it on the body. Now we'll take the collar and turn it down and shape it. And now we'll add the buttons. Well, that really didn't, that's not as open as I had wanted it, but that's okay. You can always go back if you wanted to and cut some more off. Um, now for the buttons, I'm just going to take little tiny pieces of the silver and roll them out and put them on. I'll just do three, give you the general idea. And then to add some details to the buttons, you can just take your needle tool and put a couple holes in there like real buttons would have. All right, now you're ready to do the sleeves. The sleeves I usually use a thinner setting than the main portion of the clothing. And um, this is rolled out on a six. And I've got my arms pre-made. And if you'd like to see how to make the arms, legs, and feet, I do have a video that is specifically for that. Okay, now I'm just kind of eyeballing to see how long that sleeve needs to be. And I'm going to cut it. and fold it over the top and just kind of roll it and then cut Oops. and then just press it together there and then take this portion that's at the top and just kind of gather it up and that gives you the appearance of an actual sleeve how it's gathered at the top now we'll do the same thing for the other one push it together and if it's a little if you cut it a little short that's okay you can kind of stretch the clay and just kind of push it together now we're going to put some trim on these sleeves as well now you could just leave them like that you could even take your needle tool and put some stitching there but I'm going to do what I did on the rest of the jacket and put um, what looks like elastic on the ends so we'll just cut couple little strips here and then we'll uh, wrap these around the sleeve trim the excess And then just take your needle tool and put your, your little lines in there. And I don't know how well this will show, this black shows on the video, but I, I hope you, you can see it. And if you can't, <laughs> I hope you can imagine it. Uh, so now we'll do the other side. And I cut this one a little too wide. So I'm just going to pull on it a little bit to make it thinner. And we just repeat the same thing on this side, cutting off the excess. And then we'll take our new tool again and just notch the sides. There are the ends. Okay, now we're ready to put these on to the body. And one thing you always have to check is to make sure that you've got your thumb. You can tell which arm is right and left by the thumb. And the thumb always goes on the top. So you wouldn't want to put this one on this side. So always check that first. 
And I like to go ahead and shape or bend it a little bit before I put it on. You just stick it up under the collar and place it on. And then you do the other side. And there you have it. Now if you want to, just for some added detail, you can take your needle tool and put some creases in here where they would be if, if it was a real jacket. And you can also put a little, some creases in at the knees as well. And that just kind of gives it a little more detail. Now he could be holding something. You could put his hand on his hip. You know, there's a lot of different things you could do. But he's ready to go, except for his shoes and his head. And then when you have him finished, you just place him on a tile, like so, and bake him at 250 degrees for about 30 minutes. And you're good to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And if you would like to purchase any of our ornaments, that you will visit us on um, debandco.com and visit our fan page at Facebook, Deb and Company where we are giving away free ornaments every week and most of the ornaments that I make in my tutorials we have a drawing for as well. So until next time, I'm Debbie Allison with Polymer Clay by Deb and Deb and Company. And this is Crazy Felix. Bye bye now. Hi everybody, I'm Debbie Allison with Deb and Company and Polymer Clay by Deb and I am here with Crazy Felix who's uh <laughs> who's acting up again. And uh, today what we're going to do is take another cake. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And, um... <laughs> Brain freeze.